Well, it's that time of year again. It's Rally Finland, and look at this weather we've got. Looks like it's going to be a cracking week here in the Uvascular countryside. Once again, though, the organisers shaking things up a little bit. A few new stages. George Donaldson and I, he's the man behind the camera. George, always good to be back in Finland, isn't it? It's a stunner, Colin. What fantastic weather, but the stages are amazing. They're in great condition. They are, and that's exactly what we're going to go and have a look at now. Jutekilla! At least I think I pronounced that right. Stage two of the rally. A new stage for all our drivers. It was last used way back when George and I were still in short pants in the 80s. We're going to go have a look at it for you. Just see what the challenges are that lie ahead for all our drivers on stage two. Okay, so here we go. This is the start of the Utikilla stage. George, stage two of the rally. New to all our drivers. They'll have wrecked it twice. Now, for those of you who aren't aware of Finland, Finland is a mixture of what they call wide road, roads, George, and little roads. This is your typical wide road, isn't it? It certainly is, Colin. A lovely, hard, firm base, well-engineered road, uh, used a lot by uh, local traffic as a main road. Uh, and of course, uh, wood, tra uh, wood uh, farming traffic, as they call it here, um, forestry, forestry work. What's interesting, George, is that we are in the middle of summer here. We've had some heavy, heavy rain. You wouldn't guess it on this section of the road. Some heavy rain forecast potentially for tomorrow as well. How, how might that affect the surface? Uh, well, Colin, the, the heavy rain that we're getting are localised thunderstorms. Some of them can be massive. It's been so warm here, so much water around, so many lakes, you can get massive, massive thunderstorms coming. The lakes are large and they're very, very warm oh. now. Uh, well, Colin, you use your eyes and that won't happen, Colin. That's what I always say to rally drivers. Colin just did a cut, a very unwise cut. There you are. I smacked the wheel of the hire car. But anyway, yeah, big, big weather possible, Colin, but only thunderstorms. Almost impossible to accurately forecast. Absolutely. Just look at this, though, George. Isn't this beautifully, typically Finland? These lovely, white, rolling roads with a lovely camber on them. Well, Colin, it's never really straight, is it? There's always a crest, there's beautiful cambers on the corner. Look at the line down on the inside of that corner. Now, this road is two-way at the moment, so don't get carried away. No, no, I'm watching. Don't Lots worry. of safety, but look at these incredible corners. Go a fraction offline, Colin, a fraction offline, and you are off the road. The edge of the road, traditionally super unforgiving on this event especially after lots of foresting as we see here uh, because the, the, all the little rubbish is left at the side of the road and the rubbish are the tree roots and they'll just end your rally straight away. So let's talk George about the potential pitfalls, the potential hazards on a stage like this, particularly where it is a stage where our current drivers have no experience. Really where, where are the dangers George in this type of stage? Well if you look at that, the timing now 12 o'clock, now this stage will run tomorrow evening um, so uh, the, the, the shadows will be very, very long, Colin. It, it can be very difficult to see the clean line in certain lighting conditions. You've got to be very, very careful about that. Because look, look at this little crest now. Come across, where is the line? You know, if you're not experienced here, like uh, Elf and Evans, not so experienced anyway, th the line might be quite different to where you thought. You, you would be sure that you'd be on the inside at that point. Maybe the car's in the middle of the road. If you're in the wrong place, it's all over instantly so you've got to f forget what your pace notes say you follow the line it's quite amazing and it works really really well <laughs> it's a strange thing pitfalls are not managing to stay on the line colin uh, following the cambers carefully but that line that clean light super super important this you can see how difficult it's going to be for seb uh, og first uh, on the road eh? that's, first that's on road. exactly what i was going to ask you george we have seen it in the past and i remember a couple of years ago we saw one or two of the minis going exceptionally well further down the starting yep. order making the most of the road cleaning it, it, it is massive here this is road cleaning central this rally and the old rally in west australia are road cleaning central categorically without any doubt uh, yes seb will suffer but colin if it rains the the road is faster for the first cars you can oh, see, a bit of dampness you see coming the dampness through. kind of binding it together here and, and, and this is from yesterday it's, you know the weather they've had here i think george you mentioned it in one of your tweets the hottest week on record in Finland yes. in terms of the temperature across the whole week. It has been exceptionally warm, but that hot weather produces those thunderstorms. And we saw that yesterday, heavy, heavy torrential rain, localised torrential rain. In places like here that we're looking at now, you wouldn't know. But back there under the trees, it stays. Yeah. So there, there is an element of good chance that Seb, Seb will certainly be hoping for some showers, for some rain. Uh, when the rain comes heavy, when it, when it becomes a frontal system, after about an hour of rain the road starts to get softer 
and the rally cars do break the stage up. Round to the right, yep. just wondering where we're going round tonight. So, so far, George, this stage, it's a nice looking it's, stage, it's isn't it? It's an utter classic, Colin. Look how brilliant this is to drive. You're never really on a straight. Big, long left-hand corner here, nicely cambered on the inside. Quite a tight line there, but it's a double apex, so you're staying wide until the end. That's where you can lose the line from the previous cars. And then, you know, 50 metres straight and you're into your next corner. No jumps there we yet, go. having said that, this could be yeah, the good, good the prediction first, there. Very the first prediction. big jump to the stage now, would so, this be... Uh, the car will go light on that, but you can't let it jump because you need to be steering and turning in for the next corner. So that is fifth gear into that, Colin. You would be braking before the crest, making sure the car stays on the, on the line. That will catch out some young drivers. Even the R3 cars will go light there. You'd miss your turning point off the line. It's all over. It's got quite a tight corner. So let's 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 have a look as we did a moment or two ago at really the challenges, the challenges that a new stage presents here in Finland, and we've seen it before. You're wrecking at 70, 80 kilometres an hour. You can pick where the jumps are going to be, but quite often, George, you can't pick the severity of the jump. Quite often, the problem when the stage actually runs are the compressions. That's what catches drivers out. I remember a few years ago, Marcus Gronholm, Timo Rauti Einen, there was a compression that caught out many drivers. Uh, and Rauti Einen being a co-driver that really suffered because of it. Uh, I'm recognising this. George, one of the teams tested up here last year in that little place on our right there. But here we go. Now, we talked about wide roads to narrow roads. This is what they call a narrow road, right? A small road. This is, this is kind of a small road. The real small roads are much softer. This is still actually quite a well-used road. So this is a, almost an in-between road, but yes, it is the smaller type of road. And uh, this is actually still maintaining the same character of the previous stage, in, in all honesty. The very uh, small roads are, are the horrible ones. But this is what a classic call. I want to drive this, I want to drive this. Here we go. Yeah, it's, it's you know, what we were on there, the first, what, uh, uh, let's just check Three or four this. Four we've gone, well, four or five k's, we're 5.6 k's in, we're halfway through the stage now. So the first half of the stage, very much a road that connected I suppose maybe little communities, little farming communities, as you say, the logging trucks. This is a little more rural. Um, it's still, a, still a very good surface. Which I was going to say, how, how will the surface react if this we surface, get that weather this, with the cars through it? This surface will, will, will soften and cut, uh, but only, only in... Uh, only in severe rain. If there's just a, a short thunderstorm, it won't uh, it won't be that bad. Let's just we'll squeeze through. Well, there yeah, we are. But the surface is still very good. Look, I mean, there's been there's been several hundred wrecky cars over this, and it's you know it's cleaned a little bit. But in terms of how it'll clean for the rally, it, it, it becomes literally polished. There is a super super fast racing line. Only run once at on this stage. Only run only run the once. that one time at stage two. Oh, Look at this lovely little day, section here, Colin. This is gorgeous. Day, it really is. A little fast day. twist and then into a K-left, I would call that. And as you say, George, what could be quite uh, quite challenging for the drivers could be that uh, the time of the evening with the low sun, with yep. the shadows coming across yep. the road, you can already see in amongst the trees, visibility is a little more difficult. It, it'll be a tough one, Colin. Okay, the, their notes will be excellent, is counting this, for that. And is here, this just Finland? Isn't this, this just Finland? Maybe you can just see the lake across lake, the left. A barn to the right. Now, <laughs> what stage is it at Latval? I cut one of those kind of barns a little too tight a few years ago and broke his uh, front. Can't remember right which stage. But look at the rocks at the side of the road as well. They're calling on the exit of that corner and up here. You know, a little bit too wide and a wheel is off the car. Very, very unforgiving edges of the road as we've already discovered on the first corner. What sort of speeds, George, are we looking oh, at these we, we are talking fifth, sixth gear. Now, this is, this will be, they'll be into sixth gear by now, out of that farm. No problem. This long corner, they might pop it back into fifth. I'm not sure. Is it going to be a fifth? It's a fifth gear corner. Holding tight in. Completely different line to us. We were watching for cars coming away. Cutting right across there. Right out to the edge of the road. Back into six, just after the corner. Six gear three across to the left of the road. Up over onto the right. Sticking in as close to the right as they can, depending on who else has been there. Maybe pop it down into fifth gear. Maybe even fourth gear through the corner. And already back into six for this this absolute right. Six gear all the way here. Absolutely roller coaster fast. Never really breaking their stride. 190 degree left corner in that whole stage. The rest is a flow. Fourth, fifth, sixth gear going. Maybe once they're down into third gear so far. That's all we've seen. It is a fast old stage for sure. George, you know, we talk about cutting and, and cutting is always a little bit of a gamble on stages that are relatively new. This one, I'd say 30 years since it ran last time. You know, you, generally you, you, you follow the cuts of the cars in front of you, but we've seen before, you're cutting the, 
you threw the greenery on the right, on the left hand side. You talked about the rocks, George. There are some big rocks. It's and always a bit of a gamble, isn't it? There's rocks Particularly and there's logs, Colin. There's a lot of clearance yes. here and there's a lot of tree yes, roots and uh, in, intangible little bits of tree sticking out from the edge of the road left down in the ditches, not being cleared out yet after the after the forest the forester workers have been in. So honestly, um, it's going to be a tough one and uh, for, for me in here, the cuts will be very, very small. I mean, you, would you cut anywhere on the left? No, because there's not going to be as much traction. There's plenty, there'll be a good clean line there. The one that has to cut the most and take the biggest chances is Seb Oji. Yeah, and we, we saw it a few years ago with Sebastian Loeb on, on the, well, it was the, the slightly truncated on in foyer stage towards the end. Took the cut, went well into the grass verge and smacked a big rock that was very much embedded in the ground. There are drivers following him, I think, with four or five drivers. Front, yeah. front right well that's the problem, is you, you see a cut you think well he's gone Absolutely. in there, but actually you come round the next corner and he's stopped where you're just about exactly. to park because you've done the same as he did. Low uh, through that year but that cost him a huge amount of time, cost him his opportunity to fight with Guano for the rally win that year. Now, incredible right, character the end of the stages. It's a lovely road, it really is. It's, it's maybe there's, it doesn't look like we've got any jumps in there George, so in that one, regard. One, one jump one that could have been but you can't jump it because there's a corner maybe. after it. Absolutely. Yeah. So, Lots of rolling. Lots of light. Lots of uh, coming over the sort of apogee, over the, the crest. Where you, apogee. It's the, oh, it's the apogee. Apogee. It's the sort of top of a top of a. a, 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 a yes, it is apogee. It's the, the, the very <laughs> top of a top of a, 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 a ballistic curve. Right, you know, where you yeah, go, you, so and the cars yeah, yeah, cars yeah, go so light so. all the time. Now, they, now, if you put the cars on the scales on the top of one of these crests, they might just weigh 50 kilos. Wow. You know, almost into the getting to the very limit of adhesion just generate enough uh, traction to keep the car turning, to keep the car driving around the corner, to hold the car on the road. can be quite a sideways experience, for them, despite the fact that it's such high speed and that you're trying to keep the car as straight as possible. Quite often when the car goes light, you have to point it in, use the little bit of traction you've got to drag the car around the corner. Phenomenally spectacular. And as you can see, when a driver makes a mistake, then it's sideways city. Hey, well, George, this is us at the end of the stage now. That is the flying finish, 10.3 k's through the second stage of the rally, but just watching behind George, a little bit of dust, is that going to be an issue do you think? Not obviously if we get any rain, is that going to be an issue on the day? It, it can be, it has been uh, on the old one minute intervals, but I suspect uh, on this event um, the two minute gap will be enough for the dust to settle. So there we go, that's stage two of Rally Finland, it is a new stage, new stage to most of us youngsters anyway George, cracking stage, can't wait to see how the boys and girls get on. It's all going to play out tomorrow afternoon.